But this is what we're pe- people are terrified of, like that a, a foreign superpower like China is going to say achieve yeah. objectives at all costs. Yeah. Although the thing about so these reasoning models, right? So there's like the the first generation of models, the the LLMs, right? That's what you think of as like ChatGPT or Meta mm-hmm. AI or like the two most used ones, and um, that's basically it's sort of like a chatbot, right? You ask it a question, it takes the prompt, it gives you a response. Now, these the next generation of reasoning models are basically instead of just having one response, they now are able to build out like a whole tree of how they would they would respond. So you give it a question and it instead of running one query, it's sort of maybe it's running a thousand queries or a million queries to kind of map out here are the things that I could do. And if I do that, then here's what I could do next. So it's a lot more kind of expensive to run, but also gets you better reasoning and is is more intelligent. Um, that stuff, I think you do need to be very careful about how you how you like what the guardrails are that you give it. Mm-hmm. But it's also, I think, the case that um, at least for the next you know period, it's going to take a lot of compute to run those models and do a lot of the stuff that they're talking about. Um, so. I don't know. I, I think one of the interesting questions is like, how much of this are you going to actually be able to do on a pair of glasses or on a phone versus mm-hmm. is like a government or a company that has like a whole data center going to be able to do? 